Hello everyone! Today we're going to talk about calculating areas from field regions in Revit and have a live area tag for each field region that will change live with changing that line of the field region. Let's jump into it really quick. So right here I have an open Revit file that had three different types of field regions. Each one of them has a different color and a different type name. So this one is red material, this one is blue material, and this one is yellow material. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and create a new annotation symbol. And uh, uh, we're gonna choose from the Revit families for the annotations. We're gonna go ahead and choose generic tag. Open it. So this is a default node that we don't really need. So I can go ahead and delete this. Then we're going to start um, setting up the family category and parameters. And we're going to go ahead and start with a floor tag. And uh, create a label. Place it right here in the center. And we want the area parameter. Go ahead and press OK. Right now we have the area parameter right here with the um, uh, floor tag category. What we want to do right now is we want to go ahead and copy this. Uh, so copy the clipboard. Then we want to go ahead and change the family category and parameters again, this time to the actual uh, category that we want. And it's uh, the detail item tags. So right here. If we have a deeper look in this label right now and edit it, you're going to find that this area parameter has actually changed. And the reason behind this is the, the, the detail items category doesn't have an area parameter right here. And that's why this field here got messed up. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete it, then paste the other label that we copied before changing this family category. So I'm going to go ahead and paste same place. Now when we edit this label, we're going to find that it's actually an error parameter right here. And that's, that's, that's the workaround for this, as long as the default and tags doesn't have a area parameters. So let's add one more thing to this label, which is going to be the type name of the field region. That's how we're going to push this up. That's how we're going to get the name of the field region with the area as well. So we're going to hit OK, then uh, load this family into our project that we have opened already. And then when we Go ahead and start tagging items. So you can see here this red material, 1300 square feet. This blue material is 3400. And this yellow material is actually 3100. And by the time you change any of these field regions, you're going to see here that the actual area changes live. So here you're going to this, you can see it's A07, this guy right here, change it, you're going to see it's going to change live, 1200. In the next video, we will be talking about scheduling the area that we got from the field region uh, using a simple dynamo script that can help us have all these parameters in a schedule and we can apply some formulas if we want to or anything with the scheduling functions. And uh, that was it for today. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button if you think that this was a useful content. I will see you in the next videos.